Hey, Brad, thanks for doing this. Uh, a lot of the coaches have been very complimentary of you uh, in preseason camp this far. What did you do over the summer? What was the kind of thing that, that drove you? Uh, you know, what were your feelings coming out of last season? Uh, I feel like over the summer, um, uh, during the process of us working out and, and lifting, like I was just really hungry. Um, I felt like I, I didn't really get to showcase my talents or really uh, show, you know, I mean, I've been able to show the coaches, but uh, be, be able to go out there on the field and really showcase my talents, you know, in a live game scenario. Like, I, I feel like I really haven't gotten that opportunity yet. Um, not because of, of, of any type of things really that I did, but it was really a lot of things I couldn't control, you know, just being a young guy at first and then uh, a couple injuries set me back. So uh, really, I was just, I was motivated to just go out there and, and be able to have a full season to where, you know, I know that I'll be able to have a place where I'm going to be able to start um, and I'm going to be able to have a lot of opportunities to show what I can do. So that was kind of really, that was all my motivation that I, I really needed, just the fact that I was going to be able to go out there and play, you know, Lord's will, as long as I stayed healthy. So that was kind of my, my motivation. Did they still got you working some at Sam? Yeah. So uh, primarily, I think I will be playing Sam. Um, uh, they have me and JJ at the buck position, so uh, we'll be rotating there. But uh, primarily in our regular package, yes, I, I think I will be playing at Sam and Jordan. Ben? Hey Brad, uh, hope camp's going well for you. What um, what was just going through last year like, kind of on an emotional level? What was that sort of like being sidelined for that long and kind of having to work your way back? It was hard, man. It was it was real tough. I think I talked about it a little bit in my other interview, but uh, yeah, it was real tough because you know just having an injury, you know, in college football or really playing any type of sports at this level, like having an injury, it's a lonely it's a lonely place you find yourself in because you know uh, especially in the middle of the season, guys are trying to get ready to play, coaches are trying to get guys ready to play, so you know you're kind of like stuck in limbo just trying to get right, you know. And uh, I mean, of course, everybody's everybody's wishing you the best and, and trying to do the most that they can to help you get right. But it's really just you. And, you know, you you, you find out who you really are uh, when you're injured. But uh, I climbed out of that hole. And, and like I said, just the idea of me being able to uh, to play is really what kept me going. So I just knew I had to hurry up and get back in. But uh, yeah, it was it was a tough time, but better days ahead. So Con. I guess going back to Sam for a second, I mean, what are some of those main differences between playing Sam linebacker and Buck, and how do you feel like your skill set really translates well to that same spot? Well, I feel like the main difference probably between the Buck and the Sam is just a little more pass coverage, more pass responsibility. That's pretty much it. But like the same uh, the same uh, techniques that I was using at Buck when I would drop back in the flats is basically the same thing I'm doing at Sam. Like there's no type of different uh, – there's no different techniques that I really needed to learn uh, pass coverage wise because I was technically doing the same thing. I'm just doing more of it. So uh, that's probably the biggest the biggest difference. But I feel like uh, it, the Sam linebacker fits my skill set uh, well, uh, just like the Buck did. Um, just that outside linebacker position and, and me losing a little bit of weight um, over the summer and whatnot and, and my speed and my strength and me being a heavy handed guy. I just feel like it's a it's a good it's a good spot for me too. So uh, yeah. Hell. Right, I would assume you're covering mostly tight ends and running backs when you're doing coverage, but who, who are some of those guys that you've encountered in camp that, that have been, you know, particularly tough to cover and have impressed you when, when you guys are? Yeah, uh, well, like, like you said, uh, I'm majority I'm, I'm covering tight ends and backs, but uh, it's, there are some guys that are pretty uh, tough to cover. Uh, Keyshawn Tony, he's, he's a guy that I feel like has really been coming along a lot. Um, he reminds me a lot of Keel Pollard actually on the field. And Keo, I like to say, was one of like the best tight ends we had to come through here. So uh, Keyshawn Tony, definitely one of those guys. Uh, Will Register, uh, a little difficult to cover. Um, and then uh, some of those backs, probably Deshaun Fenwick. He real, he real shifty guy. Um, but uh, yeah, those are probably some of the guys who are a little tough to cover. Ben? Uh, Brad, how much Sam had you played before this season, and was there a conversation when they said that they wanted to kind of move you to Buck, and what was that sort of like? Uh, well, before the season, I've I've never played Sam. Uh, okay. before the season, I don't think I've played anything 
other than Buck. I might uh might have disliked some end situations where I was playing in, but in and Buck are kind of like the same thing anyway. So, but uh yeah, the, this year was the first year that I played Sam, and how they kind of brought it upon me uh. It's it's really funny because it kind it it went like that. I mean, it was real fast. So like one day, you know, I was I was at the buck and you know taking reps at the buck and and, and you know I was getting real comfortable there. And then I think like uh, one day at like a walkthrough or, or it might have been uh, Must Champ just asked me to you know step outside and do this and you know kind of had me playing it, but I didn't really know what I was playing. And then I did and after a while I figured out that it was the same position and he would kind of have me sneak in that position and just do some things there I guess just to kind of feel around and see how I felt and see how I looked and uh, I guess he liked what he's seen and I kind of you know kind of felt comfortable there too so uh then he kind of just you know I started playing that same position but it wasn't really like we sat down and had like a talk about it and I'm the type of guy that you know like as long as I'm on the field and I'm playing you know and I know the coaches I know like uh Coach Muschamp and, and T Rob and, and uh those guys, they're gonna put me in a position to where, you know, I'm gonna play the best of my, my abilities. They're not gonna put me somewhere where I ain't gonna be able to, you know, hold my own. So I trusted those guys and uh it worked out good because, you know, I kinda like the same position. I feel like it fits well, like I was saying earlier. Colin. I don't know how much you've gotten to spend around some of the um, young bucks. Um, but just what are your impressions early of uh, maybe the Gilbert uh Jordan Birch and, and what kind of camp have you seen from I know he's not younger but a, a JJ mm-hmm. oh yeah well starting with JJ JJ definitely came a long way um you know he was he's got moved around all over the D line I think he came here he started off playing like three technique D tackle and then he moved from D tackle to end and then from end to buck but uh he's a guy that can play down the line on the defense and he's came a long way he's matured a lot he's grown up a lot he's grown into his body uh he's one of the best pass rushers I feel like on the team, one of the best pass rushers I've seen. And uh so I feel like he he's definitely came a long way. Um Jordan Birch, he's one of the he's one of those guys that just has a lot of raw talent, man. He's just he's big, he's fast, he's strong, you know, so uh he, he he's definitely gonna be a player. All he has to do is just, you know, kinda learn the fundamentals and be in the system for a while and you know, after a while you 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 guys are gonna really see him be able to, you know, show his showcase his 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 peak, his talent. Uh, Gilbert, Gilbert's another guy that I feel like is going to grow, uh, definitely into a Sam position. He's, he's kind of right behind me, but he's a long guy and he, he, he can, he can be physical. He's got to, he's got to, uh, got to get under his pads a little bit and, and learn, you know, the difference between high school and, and foot, uh, high school and college ball, but he's definitely going to be a player too. Uh, another guy, Tonka. Tonka's, Tonka's a guy who I feel like, uh, I think T-Rob, I seen that T-Rob compared him to DJ Wonham. Uh, his mindset, his mentality, and I feel like that's a good comparison. He's a guy that's like, he, he's not real loud, he's he's not real vocal, but uh, he came in, and I feel like as soon as he came in, he was he was just listening. You know, he was listening, trying to figure out what to do, how to do it, and uh, he's putting it together fast, and he's learning quick. So, uh, yeah, all those guys, man, all those guys are have have great potential and are going to be great players. So, Dick Cox. Is it hard to sit and watch some of the other teams have started, some start this weekend, knowing you've got two more weeks to go? Or do you feel like that two weeks is going to get you ready and that you need two more weeks? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard. You know, uh, I, I think uh, the team on the other side of the state, like they, they play this week, right, this weekend. So, uh, you know, it's, it's – it's, yeah, and then watching some of the games last night, uh, some of the NFL games and stuff, it's just – I don't know, it's kind of exciting. You know, I'm, I'm ready to get back on the field and – uh, I think the two weeks will, will help us as a team collectively, you know, just um, guys, you know, uh, some last minute things and getting things situated, getting the younger guys ready to go. Um, but I, I feel like uh, I feel like, yeah, the two weeks will definitely help more than than it will hurt us. You know, anything else for Brad? Go ahead, Hill. Uh, Brad, uh, with DJ being in the NFL, what, what's it been like seeing him go through his preseason, get ready for a season uh, up there in Minnesota? Uh, it's it's great, man. Just to, just to uh, remembering the times where you know I came in and and he was like the guy that uh, kind of took me under his wing and I kind of just watched everything that he did and to see him grow as a player because he did he grew a lot from uh, the time when I, when I first got here and I was watching him till you know last year when I seen him on the field and then till now him him uh, being in preseason camp over there at uh, Minnesota. But yeah, it's 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 great, man. It's great to see your guys that you that you grinded with that you worked with see it pay off, you know, and see them make it to the next level and be able to take care and provide for their families. So, yeah, it's – it's, and then the just the opportunity of me being able to 
possibly be in his same shoes, you know, and uh, being able to look for him for advice and guidance. Yeah, it's, it's a great feeling just to see your guys be able to, you know, make it and provide for themselves. Have you guys talked much these last couple of weeks or so? Yeah, we stayed in touch. I tried not to, you know, uh, bug him too much because I know he's probably busy and trying to handle a lot of stuff. But we stayed in touch. Uh, he And he, he said that, you know, Kent was going well. And I, I let him know how Kent was going down here. And he heard some things about me playing the Sam and asked a little bit about that. But, yeah, we, t we kept in touch a little bit. Appreciate it. All right. I think that's it. Thank you, Brad. Appreciate it. Right, appreciate y'all.